Well, I think the best thing about the G425 that we have seen from all the players, and most of them have mentioned, is how forgiving it is. I think the one thing that they love is that when they miss hit it, it still goes straight. Um, their spin rates are very stable. The other thing is the sound of the head. The sound of the head is fantastic. This one's more of a solid, deep sounding strike. And then also, which everybody loves, is the faster ball speeds and a little bit lower spin. So what we're seeing is guys can actually put a little bit more loft, but still keep the same spin that they had previously, where the spins are a little bit lower, but getting the proper launch conditions. Every year, somehow, they beat the previous records making the ball spin the way we need it to, then making the ball go as far as we need it to, fly as far as we want it to, and straighter. And it seems like this new driver, the G425, coming off in the window I want it to, and that means coming off to the right, coming off in the right trajectory I'm looking for, um, and, but it's still producing the cut that I'm looking for, or the slice, as some people call it, but it's also giving me the roll when it hits the fairway. And so for a person that's trying to hit the ball straighter, trying to um, look at a different window that I'm looking at, um, the Max is the perfect driver for them. Just right away, obviously love, love the new look and, and just the head, the way it's shaped. Obviously the forgiveness in it, I can definitely tell the difference, especially with my misses. It didn't fall offline as much as my previous driver, so for me that was pretty much the key factor for me switching. Well, I picked up ball speed right away, and I think it was two to three miles an hour ball speed right out of the gate, uh, and that was, that was pretty much swinging at the same miles an hour with the, the G410, so the head is definitely hotter which is great and I actually knocked down some spin rate numbers which is great for me if anything I'm a little bit of a high spin ball player you know sometimes get the driver up close to 3000 which is not ideal uh, it was never the case when I was hitting the G425 it seemed to always stay around 2500 and flatter uh, which is which just equals more distance for me so uh, man I was, I was pounding that thing and again I look forward to just putting it back and putting it in play. Instantly I absolutely loved the look of the new driver I went for the LST head, which is a smaller head, and I, I just really liked how it was more, more rounded this year. Um, and the sound and the feel of it was everything you kind of want in a driver, so um, yeah, I instantly loved it. One of the great things about the Ping G425 driver is not only is it forgiving, but it's very fast. One of the things that people always think is, if I get a forgiving driver, well, it's not gonna go as far. Well, not so with the G425 driver. The G425 driver provides fast ball speeds, low spin, long distances, and very forgiving. Your misses are gonna be closer to the fairway, if not in the fairway, um, and that's what we're all looking for. Doesn't matter what level of golfer you are, you're looking at hitting more fairways, playing better golf, shooting lower scores, and this driver seems to be doing it. I'm all about look. I feel like the most important thing to me is it has to look, it has to look good if I'm gonna hit it well, and, and right away, I looked at the LST and the, the G425 Max, and I knew I was gonna hit it well just because of the way it looked. I felt like it was set up square, and uh, I actually felt like the LST was a little bit smaller than the G410, and, and I like that actually. You know, I think the game is moving towards, it seems like bigger heads, bigger misses, and things like that, but I seem to zone in a little bit more maybe when the head actually gets smaller, so I was able to hit the sweet spot right away with the LST, and man, I loved it. When you're looking at a, any good club, you want it to have the proper sound. And I definitely think the G425 has that. It's almost like a solid hit with a bat. I, I, it's kind of how I would explain it. It's not as much of a, a ting, as it is more of a solid hit. So I love the sound of it and I look forward to putting it in play. It was a fraction quicker than um, the, the 410, um, but the biggest thing I saw was the dispersion in the miss hits. Um, even with the smaller head LST, I found it more forgiving than the previous model, which gave me the confidence to put it straight in the bag. I love the driver because I can just go at it and I'm comfortable with it. And honestly, the harder I swing, the straighter it goes. I pretty much hit the same percentage of my fairways anyway. So. The G425, it's definitely, like I said, it's helped me in that aspect of comfortability um, with hitting it further while also hitting it straight. Every other year when a new driver comes out, it's always outperformed the last one. And so for a guy like me to switch, you know it has to be something about it that's working properly. And that tighter window, um, the misses, missing where I want it to miss, um, all those things add up to the best performing driver. And right now, this is the best on the market. It's so important to be in the fairway. Um, you're not going to hit it out the middle every time. Um, so if your miss hits can be a lot tighter, that's obviously a good thing. And I think the new driver certainly helps that. When you're talking about length and straight, there's no better equipment than, uh, than what Ping engineers have been able to do. And now the G425 has proven again that it's the best in the game. I've always had the goal of getting up to 200 miles an hour out on the golf course. Um, so I think with this new G425 driver, Picking up that couple extra miles an hour with the ball speed, 
I think will definitely get me over that 200. So I'm going to let the big dog eat here um, this winter and, and this next season.